areas that are the county has been counted amongst the driest parts of the country which depends on rainfall for farming na tulikuwa tunapanda ukipanda hata maeka kama hii hatuna kitu tabuna sababu mbuyu itakuwa kidogo na ukulimaji ulikuwa mbaya magugu kama hii tulikuwa tunakata tunachoma na ingine tuna tunatupa tunaongoja maji ya mbuyu lakini saa hii hata mbuyu ikienda tunaweza panda kitu ambayo inaweza tusaidia kutoa pesa planting with higher expectations and getting nothing from the farms has been their habit for the past years kulingana na sasa naona dalili na kulingana na ile siku nyingine ninapandanga ndengu hakuna mapuno ninapo, ninaona kwa sababu nilipanda ikapatwa ni magonjo mengi ikainama ikainama mpaka ikakuwa ika kuna kitu unaona msanga tu ni msangu unaonanga hivyo after an intervention from the national council of churches in Kenya NCCK in the year 2016 these farmers have doubled their food production after they embraced the conservation agriculture practices for improved food security NCCK uh, for the last three years uh, began actually with a few farmers because what we wanted to promote is sustainability household sustainability in terms of food security but we have grown that where now farmers are able to grow their produce to the level now we are looking at how we put them into cooperatives for marketing zamani wakati kiangazi ilikuwa inaingia tulikuwa tunaenda kuomba lakini kwa saa hii kwa vile tumefunzwa atuendi kuomba tumeanza hata sisi kujitafutia kitu kidogo kidogo ya kujisaidia naye at least 4000 farmers from this county has stopped depending on the government and humanitarian groups for relief food uh, this is going to enhance um, knowledge about farming about conservation agriculture among other good agricultural practices we are trying to improve the livelihoods of the farmers from where they used to run sort of where they had a food shortage to now they are able now to get enough to sell to educate their children and also to do other mighty things as to we are forende witnessed in their homes currently we have over 4000 farmers in this area but the development of this site has not even been expensive lack of market being one water shortage has also been a major challenge for the farmers whose crops are often left to wither due to low rainfall and inaccessibility of water for irrigation moto ni kuzo unakuta unapeleka kwa mabrokers wana block wana ku kunachukua kwa bei ndogo hiyo ndio changamoto tuko nayo hatuna soko eh changamoto iko kwa soko ningetaka sasa serikali kusema kweli watu angalilia hayo maneno watu tafutia ngarau soko hata hata kama ni soko moja tu tuwe tunapeleka masawa yetu huko tuko na shamba tuko na manyua tuko na na kila kitu lakini hatuna maji In the last three years, NCCK, through the help of agronomists, has been training the maize, sorghum, green peas, mango, bananas, arrow roots, tomatoes, and sweet potato farmers on how to improve soil structure, reduce soil erosion, and improve production. Conservation agriculture, iko na mambo tatu ya nyeti tunaweza kuadhiria ili wa mkulima wa kisasa. Ya kwanza eh ni maximum clearance ya tu eh minimum soil disturbance na vri kilo protection na ngiro ngiro forest Ibrahim Kidaka a farmer says that unlike before they are now able to ensure their farms remain covered throughout the year to help in moisture retention avoid soil erosion as well as suppressing weeds tufunza kuhusu kufunika udongo hiyo ni kitu ya kwanza ikawa sasa mchanga wako ama mdongo wako huu umefunikwa kila wakati na kusingie ngombe kusingie traktor na kusingie mbuzi wala moto sasa ikawa tu ni kufungua pale tu na simba simu unaweka mbegu alafu hata kama inanyesha mbua kidogo hiyo eh, hiyo nini hiyo kaba ina, inashikiria maji na inastahili ina mpaka inaleta nini mazao hata maneno ya kupambana na makwekwe sasa kawa sababu kukire kilikuwa kinatusumbua sana ni makwekwe 
ikarashimisha mtu aingize ngombe, aingize traktor, sasa sikao tunatumia madawa. Mbu ikinyesha unapanda alafu makwepu kikitoka kidogo unapiga dawa ili nabaki unakuja tu kimwa kimoja moja moja na pia ngombe. His sentiments were echoed by Amina Njeru, who is now planting maize crop in acres after she adopted drip irrigation, where she says that she is able to feed herself and sell enough in the neighborhood market. I drip irrigation, but I don't know if I'm going to drip irrigation. But I don't know if I'm going to drip irrigation. Hao wengine watakula wapi? Sasa tukaona wacha tuwe tukilima kidogo na tufuge kuku na wengine wanafuga mbuzi. Hizo ndizo wanaendelea nazo wakati wa kiangazi. To continue equipping the farmers with the best knowledge during the COVID-19 pandemic that inhibits people to meet in masses, the council has launched an online site known as Fabo that gives farmers timely information online. Um, FABO learning site for the conservation agriculture projects uh, in the NCCK is going to assist farmers uh, in a long, uh, long way because it's go, uh, farmers are able to access to a lot of information concerning agriculture in that site, even without the assistance of uh, the, the field officers the farmer will be able to access to quite a lot of information using their phone. And uh, we believe that it's going to be a sustainable process because they don't need anyone uh, for them to access this information. They just need the phone and the application in their phones and internet, that's all. Kama sai, nikitumia hii simu yangu, kama ni wakati wa kutumia mandawa kama wakati huu, hii teknoloji na nikienda kwa mkulima na angalia kwa simu naona hii ni ugonjwa fulani na angalia kwa fabo alafu naona vile eh, ile matibabu ya hiyo ugonjwa wa mumea na soma alafu na wasaidia kuelewa Farmers have been equipped with smartphones which they use to browse key agricultural materials to help them in their agriculture. Mkulima atanipigia simu, anitumie picha. Hebu kuja uone nyanya yangu, mm, principal iko na kashinda, iko jerwish, iko nini? Anipigie hiyo picha. Na mimi huko sababu nimenetrainiwa hata ile ndawa atatumia, hata kama sitaweza kufika sababu ni wengi. Si nitamtumia ndawa yenye atapiga hiyo nyanya. That is the good. The reason of these potos, now you're babon me, you're perhaps. This is a clear indication that once new farming technologies are implemented in semi-arid areas, there will be an increase in productivity. Reporting for KTN from Tarakanidhi County, I'm Washuka Kiarie.